Question 3. So for part A, complete the table below. So we've just got to substitute 1 into uh, this formula. So we're saying 5 to the power of 1 plus log to the base 2, 1 plus 1. Well, log 2 to the base 2 is 1. So we've basically got 5 to the power of 1, which is 5, plus 1, equaling 6. Now, for part B, using the trapezium rule, well, we're given the trapezium rule in the formula sheet. So it's a half times h. h is just the uh, class interval here. We're just going up by 0 0.5 each time. So half times a half. y naught and y n are our first and last y values. So that's 1 and 26.585. And this bit here just means we need two lots of all the other y values. So here we are. So we've got our half times a half times the f one lot of the first and the last plus two lots of these three values here. Pop that all into your calculator, you get this, which rounds to 17.56 to two decimal places. Now for part C, you've just got to sort of picture what's going on here. This part here is exactly the curve that we've dealt with above this bit here however we're adding 5 onto it so the whole curve is just shifting up 5 so try and imagine as it shifts up it's creating a rectangle underneath it which has got a height of 5 and a width of 2 oh, okay the values that we're covering are a width of 2 so if you've got a height of 5 and a width of 2 well that's an extra space of an extra area of 10 so we've got to add 10 on to our previous answer of 17.56 to give us our answer of 27.56.